It is our big story at 10, the community of Peshtigo remembering a victim of domestic violence. People flooding Patricia Washbish's home tonight in a candlelight vigil, paying tribute to her and the very cause she fought for. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel was there and joins us now with our story. People flooded Patricia Washbish's house to pay tribute to her, and many of those said that she touched their lives in a great way. Kayla Mascaretti silently remembers Patricia Washbish with this candle. It symbolizes that there's still hope and that her spirit will live on. The candlelight vigil brought out dozens of people to remember her and all victims of domestic violence. It shows how much she meant to people, how many people she helped. You know, everybody's here to say thanks and show how much they cared. Patricia, more commonly known as Trish, was the interim director at the Rainbow House Domestic Abuse Shelter. She was found dead last week. Her boyfriend, Brent Kempf, now facing homicide charges. But people say it's what Trish stood for that they remember today. Her domestic abuse was always her symbol. It can happen to anybody, even someone who was fighting for this, who was helping people through domestic relationships and it ended up taking her life. It can truly happen to anybody. Although this small community has lost one of their own, they are not feeling revenge. They only hope for healing. Just to let everybody know that there's still help and for the children, they know that there's enough community and family that will be always there for them. She's always going to be in my heart. Um, my life is so much better because of her. Now the vigil was organized by Washbish's close friends and those who came to say those who came to say goodbye say she will never be forgotten because of the lives she touched. Raquel Lamel, NBC26.